Hey guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's sequence is a mobility sequence for the lower body. You won't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one and whenever you're ready, come and join me at the front of your mats in Tadasana. So standing at the front of your mat in Tadasana, just heel to your feet out to the edges of your mat, find your squat stance. We're going to inhale as we lift all the way up, extended to that, and then exhale as we hinge at the hips, coming into a forward fold. Taking the hands either side of the feet or on the outside and ripping a hold of the outside of the feet. Think about drawing your chest over your legs, try and keep your legs nice and straight if you can, or take a bend in the knees if you need to. Bringing your kind of chest over your thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. And just think about taking a few deep breaths here to limber into the pose. You can rock from side to side or inhale and exhale to fall deeper. And then on the next inhale, I want you to drop your bum down to the floor, lift your chest, eye gaze forwards, using your elbows against your knees, come into the bottom of your garland squat or squat pose. Take a nice deep breath in, get comfortable in the position there at the bottom, and then we're going to exhale as we lift and fold forwards into uh, that forward fold again. Inhale to lift, Back to squat, exhale to fold, one more, inhale to squat, exhale to fold. From here you're going to take your hands inside of your feet and we're going to take the right foot all the way back, coming into lizard lunge on the left side. So reach the heart forwards, I go forwards and just take a few pulses or a few bounces with that back leg, opening up the hips. So the hip flexors and the groin area, take a nice deep breath in and then we're going to inhale as we press the ground away, straighten that front leg, exhale, fold, pyramid pose and then we're going to come back to lunge. So again we're going to limber this, so inhale to lunge, exhale to pyramid pose, inhale to lunge, exhale to pyramid pose, last one, inhale to lunge, exhale to pyramid pose. And then we're going to drop the back knee, so we're going to come back to that lunge, drop the back knee to the floor and just lift the foot, pulse it maybe two or three times and then reach back opposite hand to opposite foot, so left hand to right foot, bring that heel in towards the bum, help it there if you need to and then hold for three, two, one, exhale, release, step the feet back, come back to down facing dog, maybe just pedal out the feet. And then we're going to take the right foot outside of the right hand into that lizard lunge position again. Eye gaze forwards, chest nice and lifted, heart reaches forwards, pulse up and down, open up that hip and that groin. Take a few pulses here. And then we're going to come into that limbering um, transition from lizard lunge to pyramid. So inhale to lift and straighten the front leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lunge. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lunge, exhale fold, inhale to lunge, last one, exhale fold and then we're going to come back to that lizard lunge, drop the back knee and then just take a few pulses with that back leg and then reach back up and round with the right hand to left foot, pulse that heel in towards the glute and then hold for three, two, one, exhale release, plant the hand back down and step back to down facing dog. Pedal it out, take a moment there to just ease off the hamstrings, the glutes, the hips, the feet and the calves. And then we're going to inhale as we lift our right leg up high to the sky. Take a bend at the knee, maybe just open out the hips. So you take a few twists through the hip, feel that stretch. And then bring that leg all the way through into pigeon pose. So right knee comes through to the right corner of the mat at the front and then slide the left leg back, untuck the toes, press the ground away, find that stretch in the hip flexors on the left side, take a few moments there just to ease yourself into it and then press the ground away, step back to down facing dog and we'll repeat on the other side. So right leg is down, left leg goes up high to the sky, three legged dog, bend at the knee, take that hip twist, maybe three or so limbers. And then swing that leg through, come into pigeon pose on the other side. Again, line yourself up, open up those hip flexors, take a moment to wiggle around in the bottom of that stretch. And then whenever you're ready, tuck the toes and step back to down facing dog. 
pedal it all out and then just come to child's pose and sit back in extended child's pose for a few breaths to relax. We're going to come back up into our down facing dog. So take the hands to the front of the mat, tuck the toes, press up into down facing dog. Walk the feet all the way into the hands, find your forward fold. And again, we're going to go for that squat stance position. So come into your squat stance in your Uttanasana forward fold and take your hands outside of your feet. And again, we're just going to drop the hips, find our um, garland pose or squat. And then exhale to fold, inhale to squat. Exhale to fold, inhale to squat, last one, exhale to fold, inhale to squat, and then just come back up into your um, Uttanasana forward fold, heel toe your feet back underneath you, we're going to take the right foot all the way back and find our low lunge position, so reach the heart forwards, open up that chest, drop the back knee to the floor, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, and then we're going to walk the hands all the way around to the side of the mat. So we're coming into the long edges of the mat. Twist the back foot around and twist the front foot and come into ninja. So heel is lifted, your leg is squatted over your left leg. Right foot, you're going to try and place the whole foot flat on the floor. So really push the outside edge of the foot down and reach your nose towards your toes. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then we're going to inhale to lift. Coming up into a wide star stance if you like and then exhale as we come down to ninja on the other side so it's a kozak squat movement if you like we're going to come back the other way again just limbering up the body and then one last time inhale to lift exhale squat over this side plant the hands on the floor walk the hands back around find your low lunge position on the other side this time so back knee to the floor reach the heart forwards take a nice deep breath in Exhale, and then twizzle back around and find that ninja pose on the other side. So you are completely squatted over your right leg this time. Left foot is trying to reach flat on the floor with the outside edge pressing down. And then you're going to reach nose towards toes and try and reach your fingers over to that big toe if you can. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, and then we're back to those Kozik squats. So we're going to inhale to lift. Exhale to squat. Inhale to lift. Exhale to squat, last one, inhale to lift, exhale to squat, and then this time we're going to inhale to lift, come back to the centre, find our star position, and maybe just heel toe the feet just underneath you, just slightly, and then we're going to exhale as we sit back into goddess squat. Take your hands to your knees, and then we're going to take left shoulder to right knee, pressing the left knee away, and reaching the right shoulder forwards, trying to find that 90-90 angle with the knee and hip. Inhale to come back to centre, exhale to take the other shoulder to the other knee. We're going to do this three times on each side, so that's one, two, and last one on each side, three, and then inhale, come all the way back up to that star position, heel toe the feet back underneath you, exhale, release the arms, shake it all out, and you should be feeling a little bit looser in your lower body now. Feel free to repeat any of those movements again. Work, spend a bit of time in each of them. Find your range of motion. Play with your um, flexibility and see how you get on. Catch you later.